So, I have been playing a lot of Dead by Daylight, and today I had a lot of matches where I just got decimated and killed repeatedly as a solo survivor, first and tunneled to death uh, with incompetent teammates who would revive me right next to the killer just to be killed instead again basically uh it was it was it was really frustrating and annoying so uh it's very interesting that uh i was asked by the developer of this game to give it a look see because it looks like a really chill zen relaxing game and i sort of need that so hopefully it'll fulfill that that is my initial uh hope and goal for this going in, but otherwise I'll give you guys my first impressions, and my first impression of this menu is that it's really cool and very interesting. This isn't, this is, this part's a bit weird, clicking, clicking on the thing itself. By now I'm supposed to probably just click this. Ahoy, boss! <laughs> Ahoy! Ahoy, me! Ahoy, love us! Oh shit, I didn't finish reading. You will find the market where we unlock the goo berries. Our goal is to unlock all the goo berries. He's officially a pirate as far as I'm concerned. He said ahoy. But oh, you see that floating terrarium? Let's go check it out. Is he a pirate or is he Irish? These terrariums are the best at growing plump, juicy berries. We can customize them, even change the temperature. Ah, uh, yes. There are different goo berries for each temperature. It just reminds me of the fact that I literally turned on my AC in the second day of March. So we'll need to build a lot of these things. You can buy more terrariums in the market. I have a thousand coins and other things to automate our gardens. No, sorry, not coins, doubloons. I have a thousand doubloons. Let's set it up. All right, cool. So. Oh, yeah. Um, see here, I'm a cowboy, and this is my cowboy ranch. Hey there, Delilah, it's in like a New York City. <laughs> I, I'm, a, I'm a generic infomercial. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm like the beginning to an old cartoon that eventually goes really downhill. Ooh. All right, that's probably really bad for anyone with uh, epilepsy. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. oh, let's make it temperate. What kind of foliage do we want? Oh, this is some alien looking stuff. This is some springy looking stuff. All right. All right, so I sort of wish I could uh, send, like, all right, one thing I really wish I could do is I wish there were, uh, is there a way for me to be like, okay, I can WASD. Okay, so I can WASD around the controls, and then if I want to mouse, I can do that. That's useful to know, but it's a little bit unintuitive, I would say. Without, like, I, like I'm surprised I figured that out. But now I can actually see the layout as I'm doing it, so that's good. Comfy and warm in here. Arr, comfy and warm in here. You can change the temp any time from the home menu by pressing on it. See those juicy gooberries in your inventory? Aye. Pop one on the ground, it will become a plant and grow more gooberries. Aye. If you want to leave this terrarium, I use a home menu or speed right off the edge. But before we leave, let's pop this gooberry in the ground. More plants need more oxygen. Fill this terrarium with gooberries. I'm sorry, I'm still laughing over the fact that it's just like, literally, yeah, you want to leave the terrarium? Just fucking yeet yourself out of here. <laughs> like, bye! <laughs> I love that. I love that, actually. I do. I love <laughs> Why does that tickle me so much? Mm. 
You did it! You did it! The first plan! Zach said it's changed. Plants require daily watering. There's always a water source nearby. Or out in the ocean, there's always a water source. Let's find it and collect some water. Yar. Oh, yeah. Nice and fresh it be. Soon we'll buy a water pump so we don't have to do all this hard work. In a few days, this plant should be producing gooberries. We can sell the gooberries in the market for coins. Watch out for those pesky goobers, though. They always show up when they have plants to munch on. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Can I just, like... Oh, why is there... I can just make his head bob to the beat. Also, why the fuck is there a mushroom here? Can I do anything about the mushroom? Holy shit, why are there so many mushrooms? Oh my god, what happened? Why am I growing mushrooms? Holy shit! I didn't ask for this. Why are they farting at me? Mom! Mom, stop! How do I deal with this? Mom, I'm confused! I'm confused at all of the farting mushrooms! Please, I am confused! I'm so very, very confused! I'm getting out of here! Oh my god! Oh, dude, it's, it's mushrooms! Oh, the mushrooms! Where'd the time go? We made it through the first day. Let's keep tending our plants so we can earn those coins. And don't forget to keep collecting those gems. It's the only way to unlock new items in the market. I'll get back to work. Hey! What the, what the, what is that? Just kidding, it's a goober! Those will eat our plants. If you need enough gooberries, you'll pop it and earn a shiny gem. We need enough gems to unlock every gooberry in the market. Don't let those goobers eat our plants. Feed the gooberries until it pops. Don't forget your gems. So you shoot gooberries at it. We got us a gem. Gems are how we'll unlock all the gooberries in the market. Or even other things. Automate our terrariums. Let's collect as many gems as we can. We get to fill the gem meter in the top right all the way. Gobbledygook. Goobery. Let's plant a ton, why not? There's a mushroom again! Uh, we found a super squishy shroom! We can't sell these for coins, but we can feed them to goobers. Then we can conserve our gooberries. Let's find a goober to feed this to. Oh, that's what the mushrooms are for. So that's what I could have used those for. All right, cool. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm wondering. So if I just spit water around here, can I get mushrooms to come out? Yes, I can. Yes, give me ammo. Fungus, fungus. And is this a, is this a finite resource of water? I wonder. Ah, we can speed up time around here. Are there any more of these things that are gonna spawn in? I wonder. Hey, sorry, I have to stop.
All right. What is this thing? Oh, you you eventually do have to feed them at least one. You can use the majority of it. All right, so that's what I'm missing. It's a goober egg. You can buy an egg incubator and grow, grow a new goober. Or you even feed it to another goober and swap the DNA. Some goobers even eat eggs. Follow spells, we can sell eggs to the market for a few coins. All right. This is optimal! I swear to god, the dev just made that noise with his mouth. How do you actually sell things at market? That's why I'm wondering. Oh yeah, an important note that I completely forgot to put in the, the beginning. Uh, this game comes out today. Like, just today. So, if you if this looks interesting to you and chill to you, you can go pick it up on Steam right now. Links and stuff in the description for you. Certainly helping me mellow out a little bit after all the shit that happened earlier in Dead by Daylight. I love the fact that it's basically just someone going... <laughs> Except, you know, a lot better than I can. You know what? Let's try and replant a co- Oh. One there. One there. One there. There we go. Ooh. There we go. <clears throat> cool. Yahoo. Yippee, that's a level up. We can unlock a gooberry in the market. Maybe you think to automate the terrarium? How do you go to the market? I actually don't know how to go to the market. Ah, oh, there we go. All right. All right. So that's that's the terrarium there. But now we can go to the market over here. I right can hear coins jingle. I can hear coins jingling. This is the market where we buy and sell stuff here. More importantly, unlock all the gooberries. There are even things we can get to automate our terrariums. You'll need gems to unlock new things. Go to unlock all the gooberries. Go we'll spend our gems wisely. We we'll even buy a new terrarium to grow other types of gooberries. Earn more coins to spend on cool things. Let's have a look around. Dark, juicy soil or feed them to your gooberish. All right. Trying to figure some things out here. They're also still eating my plants and I don't appreciate that kind of behavior. All oh, these have grown. All right. All right, let's leave this one and enter the main thing. Back. Oh, yeah, I don't have an inventory slot. I get it now. Let's 
Let's buy a bunch of these and start building them up. Oh, yeah. All right, Let's see if these guys do a bit better for me. Plant every single one I have. Otherwise, there's sort of a waste of that initial investment. All right, and we need to water them all. I'd love to get water automation in. All right, so skip to next day. Yummy. And Accidentally landed some of the initial ones over here, but that's fine. I'm gonna need some defensive systems, I think. What's this does? Oh, I can't read it. I actually don't know what's going on here. That was probably unintended. I have no idea what that does. Or what it's intended for. Or what he said to me. I couldn't read any of it. Oh yeah, I really should be keeping some of them for ammo. I need mushrooms still around. Oh yeah, I could do this. I could just try and force more uh, mushrooms out for myself for ammo. <laughs> Cool. I have some mushrooms that I can use as ammo for tomorrow. Ah. I can just get rid of them like that. Cool.
Yeah, I really do want to get something to automate watering all of this. I'm under some assumption that these actually don't grow as much, which is why they're worth more. Like, you need more of them to even get as much in number. I'm actually wasting farm space by having them. But, I'll find out. Probably replenish some of the ones I've lost. This entire area was growing stuff at first, wasn't it? one there we go yeah i'm getting a good idea of where i'm going with this and on top of all of this there's automation but this is a pretty chill game it's nice for a zen out just sort of relaxing just do this for a little while chill out check on progress of stuff do as much as you want then as i'm about to demonstrate feel like i'm done so Oh, that's interesting. Enter and leave do the exact same thing here. Whoa! <laughs> Either way, that has been Goo Berries. Hope you all have enjoyed the video. I uh, do enjoy the premise of the game, and it seems like it's felt pretty well put together. There are some minor things that I don't like, like I've been saying, uh, like being able to see when I was doing the terrarium, like figuring out that WASD lets me do this and keep the, and basically like reset or keep this. So if I wanted to look top down, I could do this and then still click like so, but you get the idea. It is a very chill game about building terrariums and populating them with various features of gooberries and then keeping those gooberries watered and then automating said process which i didn't even get to and i've enjoyed my time with it so thank you very much ladies and gentlemen have a good one with your friends too and watch some other videos as well. Bye-bye! <laughs>